Well, in the last meeting of the clubs here in March, Motherwell won a vital match 1-0 in their fight against relegation. Paul Lambert, now with Borussia Dortmund, got the goal with a penalty. It's another vital day for Motherwell. Uh, they're joint second bottom with Kilmarnock and have played a game more. And obviously, it's a very important day for the home side also. Played through by Philibin. There's no flag. A real chance on here for Motherwell. It's Andy Roddy sending it in. Tommy Coyne. Motherwell take the lead. Eight minutes gone here at Rugby Park. The perfect start for Alec McLeish's man. Tommy Coyne. Finishes it off. The long ball was played through by Philibin. Kilmarnock defenders were looking for a flag. It didn't go up. Andy Roddy come through. Had a little look up here and sent in the perfect ball for Tommy Coyne and he doesn't miss those and by McIntyre but uh, once again it's given away to Andy Roddy the man who laid on Motherwell's goal and they're pouring players forward here on Motherwell Sean McSkimmings away down the left hand side here he is good running by him McSkimmings send it in <laughs> played a minute of stoppage time this is McKee for Kilmarnock and by McPherson oh, he booked there, but the referee's allowing play to go on. It's uh, Jimmy Dolan who's on the ground. He's taken a knock to the head. I think he was caught uh, by the boot of Tom Brown. The referee really should stop the match here. He's having another look over at the Motherwell player who's still on the ground. Still play continues. And there's a chance on for Motherwell. Whistle's gone. Well, the Motherwell players uh, now are angry with the referee. He allowed Kilmarnock to play on there for quite a while. Then the ball broke for Tommy Coyne. And as he was running through in goal, the whistle sounded. And uh, the Motherwell players are reacting angrily. I really cannot understand why Andrew Waddle allowed play to go on so long. Referees have clear instructions. If there is a head knock at all, they must stop the game. And then the minute Motherwell had an advantage, he halted the play. Well, they're really fighting hard this afternoon. They know what's at stake. And uh, with Kilmarnock having a game in hand over them, they've got to leave here with full points. And uh, here's Alec Burns. It's Tommy Coyne. Roddy goes in a run. Takes the defender with him. It's deflected! It's a well-weighted ball from Chris McCart. There's no flag. Davis plays it through, it spins in the air. Well, claims that that's a pass back. And the referee is actually giving it. This will be an indirect free kick. Just six yards from goal. The defender was under a lot of pressure. Well, we saw something like this a couple of years ago at Fir Park in a match between Motherwell and Hearts, if memory serves me correctly. There was a lot of controversy about that. This will be an indirect free kick. The entire Kilmarnock wall will have to retreat to the goal line. So more drama here. The referee interpreted that as the defender trying to get the ball back to his goalkeeper. A golden opportunity for Motherwell. And they've taken it! Pushing forward now. Claims there for use of a hand. Kilmarnock get one back and it's right. Paul Wright gets one back for Kelly. 54 minutes gone, that's exactly what they needed. So the ball floated away to the far side. It was Claims there. The ball came off the defender's arm. And then good finish there by Paul Wright, teed up by John Henry.
Oh, that's given away to Tommy Coyne. Here's Coyne again, good play by Motherwell, great goal! Superb goal by Motherwell and Tommy Coyne. Kilmarnock 1, Motherwell 3. 58 minutes gone, that was superb play as Motherwell broke forward. Billy Davis linking so well with Tommy Coyne. And a great finish. Letting in there, the Motherwell substitute. It's Burns again. Just going. Letting in. Burns. And so unlucky from uh, Tommy Coyne. Almost getting the hat trick. This is Kerr. Wits in there, battling down he goes, that's a penalty! Paul Wright fouled inside the area, Andrew Waddle points towards the spot. There are four minutes left. There might be a grandstand finish yet. So it will be Paul Wright himself. To take this one, he already got his side back into the game with his earlier goal. If he can put this one away, Motherwell might still have a bit of work to do. It's Paul Wright! Kilmarnock 2, Motherwell 3. About three minutes left. He throws the ball into the back of the net. Now played a minute of stoppage time here at Rugby Park. It's another mistake. Oh, that's a great goal. It's Tommy Coyne getting his hat trick. A mistake there by Raymond Gummery. And Tommy Coyne floated the ball over Colin Meldrum for a superb goal. Kilmarnock 2, Motherwell 4. And well might those Motherwell players celebrate. But uh, Kilmarnock really got themselves into awful trouble here. A mistake by Montgomery, and that was Tommy Coyne reacting immediately, flipping the ball over the goalkeeper. For his hat trick, he celebrates as well he might. Tommy Coyne is back. Ray Montgomery, well, he'll be more than disappointed with himself. That really does push it beyond any reasonable doubt. We've played almost two minutes of stoppage time. The whistle sounds. Well, a dramatic afternoon here at Rugby Park. Three great points for Motherwell, Tommy Coyne and Alec McLeish.